love. Mm. You see what I mean? With maximalism, cottage core, and a plethora of other interior design trends now taking the world by storm, people are starting to question what are we going to be seeing in 2023? And for those of us who like the more minimalistic styles, is that actually going to be a part of 2023 or is minimalism truthfully dead? In today's video, I am going to explain to you a little bit about minimalism and where I see it going in this upcoming year. For those of you new to this channel, my name's Tash and this was Astro who has now decided that he wants to leave. Okay, so we're talking about minimalism. Minimalism really took the world by storm in 2020, 2020, 20. So minimalism took the world by storm in 2017 and slowly was gaining popularity before then. It was kind of this counteraction to this whole consumeristic mindset. And this movement was really starting to change the way people were thinking about purchasing items and how they were living in their homes. The whole less is more movement really started to take the world by storm. And there are quite a few other little movements that came out of that. Some of which I have mentioned in previous videos like slow living. But after a good couple of years of being inside and not particularly enjoying the more minimalistic lifestyle, the entire world seems to have moved on from minimalism and has started to go in the complete opposite direction, which in all honesty seems to be a more maximalistic mindset where we are utilizing far more colors, far more textures, and really personalizing our spaces for us and not for this more minimalistic, simple mindset of just less is more for being less is more. Mm. It's nice. When we first started seeing minimalism, we really went all the way to what we now call ultra or extreme minimalism. And this extreme minimalism looked very, very simple. It had very, very neutral color palettes, usually consisting of whites and light neutrals, particularly on the cooler side. We'd only have the essential items in our homes and those essential items were always brought down to the most minimalistic sort of standard. A lot of Japandi, Scandinavian work really started coming to light with this. Now, minimalism has changed over the last couple of years and we are now starting to see it in a few different ways. The most current and common ways that we're now seeing it at the end of 2022 is through modern organic naturalism and biophilic design. A lot of these styles really started to build upon this minimalistic sort of mindset, but really start to add some more depth back into the space. Instead, we were starting to use a lot more natural elements and really starting to add a lot more warmth and texture into the space, which personally, I am actually quite enjoying. When it comes down to it, Minimalism is not going to be the same minimalism that we used to know. And for me, I think minimalism is going to be much warmer and much more inviting than the previous minimalism. Count how many times I say minimalism in this video, I'm, I'm just curious. Is there another word for minimalism? I'm gonna say it too many times. It doesn't matter, okay. In terms of what we're going to see in 2023, Minimalism is going to be quite a bit different to the minimalism that we used to know. So we are going to see a much warmer color palette, a much more naturalistic side, and really adding a lot of depth and texture through different natural materials, whether that be through stone, wood, or even just by utilizing far more plants. Some other things that we're going to be seeing with this more refined version of minimalism is a real eye for sustainability and reflecting nature. In terms of sustainability, this has been a huge trend, not just within interior design, but in terms of the rest of the world and where we're going to a more sustainable future. So looking at how things are produced and whether or not they hurt the environment in any way, shape or form, which is really going to start coming to the forefront of consumers' minds, particularly those who have already really enjoyed the minimalist movement. You're already very good at selecting only the things that are essential. And from my personal experience, you're more willing to spend a little bit more of a higher price for something that is going to be more sustainable for something that is going to be a bit more sustainable and a little bit more friendlier to the planet. Now, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about what type of interior design trends we're going to be seeing in 2023, I have just done a recent video, which I will link up above, and that will talk a little bit more about what I'm talking about here. 
However, I do see minimalism as a small part of next year's design trends, but I do think that we are going to have a much more bolder, more fun color palette and maximalism is surely going to take the world by storm. What are your thoughts about the new minimalism interior design style? Is it something that you're enjoying or did you prefer that more sleek, modern minimalism that we have previously seen? Make sure you let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this short little video and I will see you next video.